over halfway, which is good because whatever spreader is full enough, I'll start losing it out the back. Um, so now comes the fun part where we use an incredibly too small tractor for a somewhat larger job. I think we left this on clean. Good thing I checked that. That would have been a mess. Put it on slow on load. It was a little wet last time we spread, a little sloppy. Uh, I already know it can lift, lift it, or at least a little bit, because I've had to move the tractor before. So here we go. My real question is, is do we have enough PTO clearance? So I can hear the PTO, not the PTO, I can hear the free point strain a little bit. Should probably put the jack up. The question will be whether I can keep the front tires on the ground. So that's that, that's ready to go. Oh, where's the rest of this? Of course, it's gonna get cut back here in something. Come on, where'd you go? I see ya. Ah. Good thing I caught this now. Where'd you go? You're strung out the side. There it is. Okay. Well, I guess I can keep this close at hand for whatever it's worth. something to keep the string from falling off. I don't even, that didn't even do anything. Ah. There we go. Okay. Because we're a little high for clearance there, so we're going to let this down a little bit. That's a little better. Good thing it's plenty dry. I probably could be chisel plowing today. But there's a lot of other stuff that needs to get done. Whew. Another thing will be whether I've got a big enough hitch pin. Well, we're gonna drag this out back where we're spreading cow manure and keep going over the uh, silage ground. Chickens are finally outside and enjoying the grass. They weren't used to that since they had to be in the greenhouse for a month. The question will be whether I break that little pin I got in there. It's probably not big enough for this. Okay. Now the PTO didn't fall off when we got straight. I was a little crooked there when I first hooked it up. Ugh. Now I gotta make it up the big hill. I think we'll have enough PTO power. I'm mostly worried about being able to steer and whether the three-point will hold it. Which, compared to its size, this thing, you know, is sort of about the same size as an 8N. Maybe not quite as beefy. But I think this will outlift the three-point of an 8N. Okay, time to hit the road. Yeehaw. Let's just go three high. Come on. There we go. Exhaust is right down there by the tire. It's coming right back at you. Like you didn't even make an underslung exhaust. We're just going to shoot it at the front. But you don't pick it off when you're mowing grass, which I do that enough. Now we're just going to kind of go around this wet spot. Pulling 
where it's a little drier. Let's see if I can time this right. Yes, clutchless shifting. Oh yeah, I would not be able to get all this out of there. It does help having all the weight on the tires for traction. Whew, now we are off-road. Hey, when I chisel plowed this, I came all the way to where we spread manure. Might be able to cut the grass out here for hay if I don't get a chisel plowed soon enough. I don't want to be able to do that. Just that means, you know, we're getting planting done earlier. I don't know why I'm getting off, but we're here, we made it. Let's, uh, let's see what happens.